Akashvani presents Matata Junction, a special program sponsored by the Election Commission of India. When people give, connect to people and vote to vote, democracy is created. Democracy is created. Voters keep connecting, creating new connections. Wait no more, let's unite. Up in this, make it right. My name is Arun Preet Singh, and my mother recently passed away. Her name was on the bottle list, so when I contact them in 1950, they informed me that I needed to complete Form 7 in order to get her name removed from the border list. My name is Hanuma and I recently moved to Silampur. The BLO there had issued me a Form 8 to fill in so that I can alter my address and to make sure that I am able to vote. My name is Dalindar. I link my voter ID card to Aadhaar. Although it is not mandatory, I have still done it. I did with the help of Voter Helpline app where I had to fill out Form 6 and provide all of my Aadhaar card's detail. My name is Rachna and I made use of the Voter's Helpline app to fill up Form 8 to have my photo affixed on my voter ID. The process was really smooth. Hello friends. Once again, welcome to Mat Data Junction 2.0. In the first episode of this season, we discuss about voter registration, which is the Special Summary Revision SSR issued by the Election Commission of India. Today, we will talk about making the voter list accurate and healthy. In other words, our effort is to ensure the purity of the pure and healthy electoral roll. To explain it broadly, this means that no one's enrollment should be duplicated, the name of a deceased person should not be on the list, the photo should be correct and the address should be accurate. The health of the voter list would be correct only when the names of all eligible citizens in an area are enrolled in the list. The Election Commission has always endeavoured for impartiality and transparency in every election. Therefore, periodic initiatives are undertaken by the Election Commission to update the voter list. We understand that having all your details correct in the electoral roll raises several questions in your mind. Let's search for the answers to your questions. Oh, as we continue, we have reached Shankar the Monkey's Puppeteer's Place where quite a few people have gathered to watch the show. Welcome, welcome one and all to Shankar's Monkey Puppeteer Show. Are Merban, Kadardan, Khandan, Pandan or Roshindan. And of course, friends, in all of these, the greatest is the gift of Madan. <laughs> And today I've come to tell you all about that very thing. I've come to make you a responsible voter. My name is Shankar. And you see here, this is my monkey. Now listen everybody, please pay a little attention to what I'm saying. Give this gathering a new purpose. Here, my monkey has picked up a card that reads, Electoral Roll. What? what? An electoral roll? What, what is, is it? it? What on earth is that? Hey, hey, my dear brothers and sisters. The electoral roll, meaning the voter list. Okay. So, my dear brothers and sisters, the jewels of this nation, not in rice, lentils or semolina, find your interest in the list creation. So first and foremost, we need to check our name in this list. Keep one thing in mind very carefully. If you've turned 18, make sure to get your name registered in it. Uh, but Shankar Bhaiya, yes? my, my name not on the list. Uh, what way I get my name registered in the list? 
Sheila Ben, uh-huh. what a question you have asked. Uh-huh. The answer is very simple. In uh-huh. fact, quite simple. Achha. You can easily accomplish this task by visiting the website of the Election Commission of India online using their mobile app. Or you can just go contact their voter helpline number 1950. Oh. Alternatively, you can also visit their office to get the job done without any hassle. Uh, uh, bhai, bhai, bhai. Mm-hmm. Office, phone, fine. Okay, okay. But me, I am not so fluent in reading English. How go to website? How register name in the voter list? <laughs> Do listen to what our sister is saying, buddy. Hey, tell her that the election commission has provided with such a feature on their website that with just one click, the entire site turns into Hindi. Ah, good go. Shankar ji, I'm from West Bengal. Mm-hmm. I okay. don't speak English well. And my Hindi is also a bit twisted. I was wondering... If in addition to English and Hindi, is this site available in other languages? Oh, Dada, the Election Commission's Voter Helpline app is not only available in English and Hindi, but also in many regional languages of India. Go, go ahead, download it and get connected to the voter list. Wow, that like a Roshkala conversation, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Mm-hmm. One more thing. Okay. You see, my name is Shila Kumari. But in voter ID, my name is Shilu Kumari. Well, Shankar Bhaiya, this is not just one person's problem, but a problem for many. Ah, ah thik, thik, bhaiya, thik. So, its uh, solutions are also threefold. Threefold? Ah. Meaning? Meaning six, seven, eight. Shankar Babu, we didn't quite understand that. Ah, ah, bhaiya, kare, kare, kare. What was that? Okay, now listen carefully. See, if you want to add your name in the voter list, mm-hmm. fill form 6. If you want to remove your name, fill form 7. Ah. And if you want to correct your name, fill form 8. Oh. Now you understand? Yes. 6, yes. 7, yes. 8. Yes. Shankar Bhaiya, tell yes. me something. My sister got married just a few days ago and she has shifted from her parental home to her in-laws place in the same city. Now, does she need to remove her name from the parental area and register in the in-laws area? Oh, absolutely, Rajan. So what if the city is the same? Their area has changed, hasn't it? That's why their voting rights also need to shift from one place to another so that they can become voters of the same legislative assembly constituency. And how would all this happen? See, from the new place, you can easily add your name by filling Form 8. Just fill it in the correct information on the Election Commission's website, eci.gov.in. Then submit the form and the job is done. Ah, bhaiya, bhaiya. I understand, understand. But some confusion still in my mind. Mm -hmm. Which form is meant for what? Okay, wait, wait, wait a minute. Now, how to solve this problem? Uh, Hey, monkey! Oh, my monkey wants to whisper something in my ear. Okay, come, come, come here, monkey. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Tell, tell what you're going to say. Oh, oh, are why? Yes, yes. What a great idea. All right, all right then. Let's clear all our doubts. Let's go through it together. Once again, shall we? Yes, 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 yes. yes. It work fine. Become a voter with form six. Become, Become a, a voter with form six. six. Remove with form seven. Remove with, with form seven. seven. Correct with form eight. Correct with form eight. Use form eight for shifting from one place to another. Use form eight for shifting from one place to another. Come, go, dine. Come, go, die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, your hands and pockets align. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> okay, so now allow us to take your leave because now it's time for BLO to speak. So, my dear monkey, let's pack. Let's pack our bags and make a move. My name is 
Akanksha Singh and I am a BLO from the Kasturba Nagar Legislative Assembly. You can find all the forms online on the website of the Election Commission of India that is eci.gov.in. If someone has become a new voter in your family, you have to apply form 6. If someone in your household has expired, then you need to apply form 7. For shifting of residence, there is form 8. I request all of you to assist those who come to you for help because this is beneficial for all of you. So you've heard how Shankar Babu taught us so much in such a fun way and BLO shared a lot about the accuracy of the voterless but before i go any further it is time for you to give answer to correct your name photo or address in the voter list which form will you fill out i repeat the question which form do you need to fill out to get your name corrected or your photo or address in the voter list so you've heard the question you can send your answer to our whatsapp number which is 9999031950 i repeat 9999031950 and it's also time now to announce the winner of our first episode of maddata junction 2.0 and the winner is s shanmuga sundaram from madurai Tamil Nadu heartiest congratulations to you And now time for some interesting facts related to elections During elections the ink used on your finger at the polling booth after you cast your vote is actually made by the Indian Council of Scientific and Industrial Research The ink which was first used in the country's initial general elections In 1951-52 has been produced by Mysore Paints and Varnish Limited since 1962. Now, isn't that an interesting fact? Friends, all the youth who are 18 year old or are turning 18 should quickly apply to register their names in the voter list by filling out form 6. And now, the Election Commission has set specific dates for this voter registration process, and those dates are January 1st, April 1st, July 1st, October 1st. Friends, hope you have taken note of this information. Hello, I am Eba Panhon Eve Simlia from Meghalaya. I have represented India on one second runner up in Miss Tourism Queen Worldwide, which was held in Philippines in 2018. Along with my own well-being, I am also concerned with the well-being of the voters list i have verified my name and i would like to appeal to you all as well to contribute to the well-being of the voters list we firmly believe that our nation's voters are aware of the voters list accuracy and will make a substantial contribution towards maintaining its integrity with this we would take your leave we shall meet you soon in the next episode of matdata junction until then it's bye bye You had been listening to a special program sponsored by the Election Commission of India, Madhata Junction. Next week, same time, same day, we meet again. Till then, keep tuning in to Akashvani.